Hey everybody, welcome to my Transport Fever series, I hope to plan starting. As you can see, I'm pretty far into the game already myself, but I am having difficulty moving on past this point, and I'd like to show you guys what I plan to do in the future. This is my freight line carrying food all the way to Florida and Atlanta. I'm playing on the real USA map. This route goes all the way back here to my freight hub, which is fed by three separate shipping lanes and it also it heads up this way with the BNSF the North Folk Southern Line comes up here heads down and this line carries it to Washington DC New York and Boston which New York and Boston are a merged city at this point I could spend hours here watching the action going on here look at that Look at it. What the hell are you wearing? It's like 2000 something, dude. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch a train all the way into uh, New York. Ah, screw it inner city route here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! I think someone broke the matrix. Alright. Sorry, I'm moving around too much. This right here. Is the food line heading back towards food central and this mega bridge here is uh it's a fast lane into bought into New York let's let's just take a moment to check the uh, the food transportation over here it's it could be going faster traffic here is absolute hell all right so now on to business let's take a uh, high-speed train out of New York into we'll wait for a high-speed train out of New York and then uh, head over to the head over west where the frontier still grows This street has given me hell from the minute I've, I built it. It has just been a continuous disaster. For once, just right now, the trains are the trams are able to move, which is almost a first. Oh come on! That's got to be against some sort of law, like physics, perhaps. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's some sort of train coming in. Ah, oh, it's our ride. We'll be taking this one. This used to be the new, this is the New York Central line. It's been significantly upgraded. And we're going to take it west. So, I'm very happy with what we got here, but we, uh, at least at this timeline, the United States has not completed the uh, Transcontinental Railroad yet. And that's what I plan to do throughout this series, is try and cut west. There's big mountains and there's a lot of problems. And of course, trying to keep profit profitability too.
little bumpy. Not the best ride out. And I need to upgrade this bridge sooner or later. But the trains rarely reach top speed on it anyways. I've seen a lot more success with ships on this map than any other map. Ooh, look what they did to the tunnels! I haven't been on since this update. Wow. It's nice looking. Alright, so we're heading to Detroit. You know, the safest city on the planet. I'm absolutely sure it'll be completely safe. As long as we got Mr. 45 with us. He's not a man of many words, but he's a man of strong action. <whistles> By the way, uh, this is the real USA map. You can get it on the Steam Workshop. It's a very good map. The cities are a little close, but United States trains aren't that fast. It's not really that limiting. Welcome to Detroit. This city was a living hell to build. To put any form of food supply or anything on because the road system was so bad. It was like two lane streets into the modern era and they were dirt roads. Dude, what the hell happened to your neck? <laughs> this line, Line 25, has been my least profitable from beginning to end. New York, Detroit, and Chicago. Who would have guessed, eh? So we should meet up with the BNS, BNSF line near here. But that's not what we're going to take. We're going to take the... Uh, we're going to take the shuttle. And this is the last stop on the line before we're cut off, before all transport. And let's get off the train. I plan on putting a bus line into here, at least for the time being. I have 58 million though, I might as well connect it pretty soon. I'm going to try to connect. This is my first major hassle, it's the, uh, the Rocky Mountains here. We're going to have to uh, do something really creative to get into Las Vegas, Phoenix, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Seattle. There's no, Seattle's going to be like, the middle of nowhere for a very long time. Perhaps forever. But the best part is, is that the AI hasn't really been able to run roads to most of these towns, meaning that they're going to be very profitable. I mean, and what roads they do have is, look at them. Really? Oh, that's cool. Look at this little bridge. Oh, yeah. I'd drive on that. Wouldn't you? Why not? <laughs> this is going to be a good time to test out the Underground Stations mod. It does look very western though. I 
This road right here. That's got to be Route 66. El Paso. Alright, let's see. Where's Texas? Houston. There's Houston, Texas. So what I plan on doing so far is I'm taking this line in Atlanta here. I love that bridge. I know it's slow, but I'm never going to replace it. I hope to either expand this station or simply just break off from it and pull a train around through here right next to these uh, these salt flats right here and then try to weave my way extra slow around this corner work my way up here around the freight straight almighty freight station mm, this is gonna be very difficult and expand this station so I can send the railway I know I'm probably I might terminus it at this rail at this station no no I'll, I'll continue it from here and hook up to Houston this will probably end my boat service which has been very profitable then up to El Paso and Phoenix and then San Francisco with a short branch line of Las Vegas I plan on setting up two lines one to Kansas City then to Denver then hooking up with Seattle along with this one that goes direct to Seattle creating a final terminal here at Seattle that will split here, here, and here. But that's my plan. Who knows if it'll work. This 59 million won't last me through that whole thing. That's for sure. So tune in, give ideas in the comments, help me out, and drop a like if you want.